Hello, I'm Jessica. Thank you so much for joining me for today's yoga flow. We have some really great poses today to help us tone and strengthen through the deep core muscles. We will be pairing those up with some wonderful poses to help us relieve tension and tightness from the low back and the hips. I have my chair here with me today that will come in very handy. Other than that, you just need a little bit of space to move. Let's go ahead and start our practice right now. Getting started here, we will be on the right side of our chair facing the seat. And take a second here just to bring some alignment into the body. Do not worry about perfect posture. Feet about hips distance apart. Send body weight forward and back, finding balance where you feel the whole foot ceiling to the floor equally. Tuck that tailbone, drop the shoulders and even check in with the face, soften through there if you're holding any tension. One breath cycle here, and we will start our flow. Inhale, take those arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bend the hips back, bend softly through the knees. Forward fold, so taking the hands to the seat here, dropping as low as feels good. Inhale, press through the hands, straighten the spine and the legs. Exhale, release that back down to forward fold. Inhale, arch through the spine as you roll yourself up, keeping connected to the chair or the legs. Step the right foot forward to the chair, ease those hips forward. Soft bend through the left leg. Pull it back and then softly bend forward. You can rest the hand to the back of the chair or if you're able to, to the seat. Shoulders stay out of the ears. One more breath cycle here. Roll the spine back up. Step that right foot to the back. Plant the heel and then softly bend forward into the left knee. Get a little more space there if you need that. Stretch through the back of this right leg. Step it on forward, arms follow up and through overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, straighten the spine and the back shoulders. Pull from the ears, really lengthen out here. Exhale, release it back to forward fold. Arching through the spine, tuck those hips forward as we roll it on back up. Left foot to the chair this time. Ease those hips forward. Gently pull them back, fold it forward here, modified runner's lunge. Try to keep the knee over the ankle. If you need to modify and pull back a little bit, that's okay. Meet your body where it's at today. And same thing here, inhale to roll it up. Left foot steps to the back. Good, ease those hips forward. We'll take one more round for each side. We'll speed it up just a little bit that time. Step it on forward, arms come overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, arch, roll the spine back up. Right foot to the chair, this time instead of pushing forward, just go ahead and fold on down into that hip stretch. Inhale, roll it up. Step the right foot to the back as far as needed. Step it forward, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. 
return it to forward fold. Inhale, roll it up, big movement through the spine, left foot to the chair, and same thing here, just fold forward and down. Roll that on up, left foot steps back behind us, press into the heel as you draw the body forward, lengthening here. Step that on forward, we're not doing vinyasa, we're switching it up a little bit, arms come forward, overhead, exhale, take them down to the chair. Step those feet just a little bit wider, soft bend through the knees, and right away, tailbone tuck. If there is sensitivity in your low back here today, stay in neutral, skip the cow. But if it feels good, go ahead, stretch that heart open, lift the head, lift the hips. And then exhale, big angry cat. Try not to shift away from the stretch. Stay forward into the hands. Open up that middle back. Two more times. Good, bring it to cat here for the final round. Send body weight back. A little bit heavier through the feet. Feel lightness come to the fingertips. Drop them down or stay connected to the chair. Tuck those hips forward. Use those core muscles to roll the spine on up. Beautiful job here. Send body weight into the right foot. Step the left leg back. Right arm is gonna come up. As we lift this left leg, be very cautious not to compress through the low back by letting that pelvis spill forward. Keep a little tailbone tuck there. Think about lifting the legs, not through the hips. Right arm forward, soft bend in the right leg. Good deep breath in. Exhale, tuck. Elbow towards knee. They do not have to touch. Inhale, open. Exhale, draw them together. Challenge your balance here. Three more times. Last one here. Inhale to open. Slide it forward and in. Great job there. A couple little ankle circles on the right side if needed. We will face front. Make sure that space is clear here to the right side if needed. Hips are gonna come a little bit wider. Feet are gonna come a little bit wider than the hips. Can't really do anything about these guys and nobody really wants them wider. Go ahead here. Draw the right arm on up, good deep breath in, hips move to the right. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, draw it up. Exhale, drop the arm, shift hips over, reach. Inhale up, exhale over. Inhale, return, and exhale to bring together. Great job here, three more times. Hand and leg do not have to touch. Last one here. Great job, bring that all in, release that hand on down. We will take the left leg to the chair this time. Any positioning that feels good. We'll release those hips back. Let those arms bend forward. You can always stay connected to the seat if that feels a little safer for you. Inhale, 
roll it on up. Arms are gonna come overhead, drop the hands behind the head, don't pull on the ears. Exhale, left elbow to left knee. Inhale, take it up. Right arm reaches through. Inhale to the center and fold it forward. We'll go through that about four more times here. Roll it up, arms overhead. Exhale, side bend on the left. Inhale to bring it up. Exhale, right arm reaches through. Feel those core muscles pulling up and in on that exhale. Great job here. When you exhale, think about fogging up a mirror. So there's no resistance hitting that exhale and you can really draw strength from the core. Roll it on up, arms overhead. Left side crunch here. Inhale, take it up, exhale. Back to the front, two more rounds here. Soft and gentle through the body. Last round, enjoy these stretches. Take your time with them, there's no rush today. Beautiful job, bring that back to the front. Release those hands, step the left leg to the inside of the chair, and we'll go ahead and open this right leg out. Hands can come here to the back of the chair and reach this arm up and just kind of pull this rib cage up, working here through side plank, standing side plank. Gaze can come down to the floor. If you would like a little bit more of a challenge, fingertips to the seat, raise the leg and continue to breathe. Good, tailbone is tucking forward, low back is not doing the work here. Wherever you are, we're gonna give it two more breath cycles. One more breath cycle to go, but if you need to end early, that's okay. Drop that on in, roll it on up. So send those hips back, roll the spine on up. Give me a reach forward here, check in with that low back. Hopefully everything's feeling amazing. Let's go ahead and take ourselves to the left side of the chair again, making sure you have room to work over there. Facing the chair, inhale. Inhale, take those arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Set up into your tabletop position, adjust anything that needs it. Inhale, up for cow, if that feels good in your body. Exhale, press to cat, and maybe we draw the left leg up. Inhale, set it back down as maybe you work to neutral or to cow. Exhale, cat. Possibly the right knee comes up. Inhale to lengthen back out. And keep going here with your own breath. Two more or one more each leg if you are working with the knee lift. Hold it there. Soften down into forward fold, bend the knees, release the low back. And then fingertips to the chair or to the legs. 
really nice arching through the spine as we roll it up. Body weight comes to the left leg, left arm opens, right leg back. Right fingertips to the chair, good deep breath in. And then exhale, bring them together. Inhale to open, leave the low back out of it. Exhale together, they do not have to touch. Three more. Great job, inhale, open it up. Gently drop them back together. You can give some ankle circles to that left side if needed. We'll go ahead here, face ourselves to the front. Feet just a bit wider than the hips. Fingertips to the chair for balance. Left arm comes on up. Exhale, bend it to the right. Inhale, pause to the center. And exhale, lift. Good, repeat through that. Use those core muscles here. You're gonna feel it through the shoulders and the legs too. Two more times. there bring it on in drop the left arm down step the right foot to the chair and just find comfortable positioning for the hips feet ankles and knees all of it once you've got that go ahead and ease this body forward send those hips back soft bend through that left knee inhale roll it up Arms overhead, fingertips fall behind the ears. Right elbow to right knee. Inhale, lift. Left arm reaches through. Forward into happy baby. We'll repeat that four more times. If you get lost, that's okay, follow me. Be careful here as you're reaching with that left arm not to twist through the left knee. The rotation is only happening through the core. Two more rounds here. Great job, return that back to the center. Step the right foot off of the chair gently and we'll work our way here through, maybe less challenging to more challenging. So step the left toes out, left arm up, gaze can come down to the floor and just work to kind of bump the hips, bump that rib cage up, maintaining work through the core, especially through the side, not the low back can raise the foot and if that's not challenging enough 
You can lean it on down, fingertips here. Holding combination of half moon and side plank here. We'll take two breath cycles wherever we are. You take a break if you need it. And slowly return that on down. Beautiful job there. Go ahead, have a seat. Final pose for those core muscles. I'm gonna turn to the side so that you can see what I have going. It may be a little bit easier if you turn to the side also so you don't have the back of the chair. Also gives you something to hold on to if you need that option. Toes here. Good deep breath in. As you exhale, feel those core muscles pull in. Lean back, making sure not to press them out. Arms can open here. I'm gonna walk you through some further challenges for this pose and you stop wherever the boundary is for you here today. Maybe we bring those feet up. Make sure that those core muscles are continuing to tuck in, not press out. Have the chair back there if you need it. Maybe we extend those legs, drop the shoulders from the ears. you are breathe for one more breath cycle smooth don't rush it and on the exhale lower those feet if they are lifted send those hips back fold it forward here great job check in with the low back if you are facing sideways let's just go ahead walk it here to the front and we'll go ahead here, hands come to the back. Inhale, take them overhead. Exhale, forward fold here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, sit down. Inhale, roll it up, step the right leg out. Option here to lift the left side. Take that back in. Inhale, arms come up one more time here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release that down. Roll it up through the spine. Left leg comes open. Option here. Twist open the right side. Exhale, bring that back together. Very good, fold those hands forward here. Forearms rest on the thighs. Take a breath in, back expansion breath. And as you exhale, roll yourself up, hands will slide into the laps. Great job here. Start to breathe in a way that feels calming and relaxing for you. And close the eyes. open the eyes take those hands to the heart a little bit taller through the spine and exhale bow it forward namaste thank you so much for joining me for today's yoga flow great blend of work and stretching which is that wonderful balance that yoga brings to our bodies and to our minds the yin the yang 
So I hope that you enjoyed this workout. If you did, please click like or hit the subscribe button. If you are subscribed, thank you so much. That always means so much to me. But maybe consider sharing this workout with a friend. Whatever you do, definitely meet me back here for the next amazing workout. And until then, keep taking good care of yourselves. I'll see you guys again soon. And as always, thank you so much for watching.